Thanks, Jim. Hey, in case you haven't noticed, gas prices are on the rise again. People once again bracing for that $2 a gallon threshold. Our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, back with us with Keller Brothers Auto Repair, live showing us how we can improve our fuel efficiency. Hi, David. Hey, how are you today? You know, it's not just gas prices that have got us concerned. It's also gas quality. So we're going to pay more and get less, it seems like. You know, here I have a sample. You can see the sludge built up in the bottom of the test tube. Unbelievable, right out of a consumer's gas tank. The sad thing about this is when something like this gets into your tank, it begins to clog up other things. We've talked a lot in the past about fuel filters and how they work and that these are paper and so they clog very easily when they get dirty like this and the gas can't flow through. Well, after it leaves the filter, the gasoline goes through to what's called the fuel injectors, okay? And these injectors, they spray the fuel into the uh, engine so that it can ignite. And basically when they're working right, you get a nice broad, wide spray pattern. It's really a fine mist and it burns very quickly and very easily. When they're not, when they're clogged up or they get sediment and stuff inside of them, gunk if you will, highly technical term, um, what happens then is that it doesn't spray clearly. It doesn't give you a good fine mist and it doesn't ignite well. It begins to waste the gasoline and you begin to have other problems. You know, I've got a little sample, another little sample of some gasoline and this stuff's so nasty I hardly even want to touch it. But here we have a sample of some gas and I, I think you'll be able to see that on the camera with all this sediment in there. That's just unbelievable. You see the little black spot in the bottom of the liquid? That's the junk that clogs up the injector. You could imagine, you know, if you think in terms, look at that, if you think in terms of a, a hairspray bottle per se, um, what you think of, you know, you can, you can kind of get that effect. You know, you see a fine mist and if we don't do this at home and kids, please don't do this. You could get hurt. Um, but what you can do is you can see how it ignites. I mean, it just literally burns almost every little bit of that mist when the thing is working properly. Now, if you take another bottle, this is probably more like the one in your bathroom at home, and it's been used a little bit and it's a little clogged, it doesn't give as fine of a mist. So what you see here is it doesn't burn very well. You just, it's, it's really kind of a letdown. You expect that big flame, but you don't get it. So what we try to do is we want to try to clean those injectors out so that we get that nice fine mist. So the fact of the matter is you hear about stuff when you go get your oil changed or you go to shops that you can dump in your tank. I hear it on late night TV all the time. It's supposed to clean it out. I'm here to tell you I've never found a product that you can simply dump in the tank and have it work as well as some of the other things available out there. And, and, and that brings me to something called a motor vac. Okay, and what this thing does is it actually goes in with a detergent. This isn't a solvent. This isn't like the stuff they dump in the tanks. It's a detergent. It's environmentally friendly. So this thing here is not only going to clean out those injectors and uh, not only going to clean out those injectors, but it's also going to take and make a fine mist. It's also going to make a fine mist, and, and in addition to that, it's going to clean out the emission system, it's going to clean out the entire fuel system, and it's going to clean out the, the catalytic converter, which is responsible for burning any particulates left in the motor. So you're going to burn cleaner, you're going to run smoother and have a little more power. Now, in lieu of this, if you don't do this, what you're going to end up having to do is replace these injectors. And replacing those is highly expensive. One of these injectors can cost you $150. That's not including labor, just for a part. So think about that. I run that motor vac on my vehicle at least once a year, um, especially since my particular motor does not have an inline fuel filter. Nothing like this. So you might want to check with your service facility, find out if yours has a filter. If it doesn't, you need to do this at least once a year. You're going to have serious problems. In the meantime, folks, drive safe. Keep your foot out of it, and if you'll come to mondaymorningmechanic.com, I'll give you a free list, from free from me and everybody at KWGN, that's going to have lots of gas savings tips and other things you can do to save money and avoid getting taken advantage of on your maintenance and repair. I was always wondering what was going on under that hood. <laughs> Thank you, David. Little Appreciate flaming. it. And please, David, <laughs> keep away from any open flame for the rest of the day, would you? <laughs> You're doused in gasoline. Just a little. <laughs> Just about 620. We'll be right back on News 2 this Monday morning. Stay with us.